Hello and welcome to part 2 of my complete beginner's guide to using your Nexus 7 Android tablet. If you haven't watched part 1 of this series yet, please watch that video first as each part of the guide follows directly on from the previous video. To recap the previous video, we went through the welcome screens but we did not set up a Google account. We will do that in a later video. We also used the on-screen keyboard for the first time and saw how we can type or glide using our fingers. Then we looked at the home screen, which you'll use more than any other screen on your tablet, the home screen dock, where you can keep your favourite applications, and the applications drawer, where you can find all your apps and widgets which are held on the device. Now on to part two. In this video, I will show you how to pick up an app from your applications drawer and place it on the home screen so it's easier to get to in the future. We will then look at how we can move this application around the home screen or remove it. And then we will do exactly the same thing with something called a widget, which can display information on your home screens. And to finish off, I will briefly show you the settings screen and how to put your tablet to sleep when you are not using it. To put an app onto your home screen, you first need to go to the application drawer. That's the middle button at the bottom of the screen in your dock. On this screen, you can see all the applications on your device. To place an app on one of the home screens, you must press and hold. This will pick up the app and go to your home screen. You can then move the app around the screen, and if you drag it to the left edge or right edge of the screen, you will shift to another home screen. Once you are satisfied with the position of your app, lift your finger off the screen to let go of the app and drop it onto the home screen. When you are on a home screen, you can do exactly the same thing to move the application again. So long press and then drag the app around. Alternatively, you can drag the app to the very top of the screen to remove it. Now, it's important to note that this does not remove the application from your Nexus 7. It's simply removed from the home screen. You can go back to the application's drawer to find the application again. Widgets are a little different to apps. Widgets run directly from your home screen and can display information such as clocks, emails, news and so on. You can even interact with some widgets, but we will look at this more closely in a future video. To place a widget on your home screen, you must go to the application drawer. If you swipe to the left, you will see your widgets. Again, the same principle applies. Long press on the widget to pick it up and drop it onto a home screen. Like all modern electronic devices, the Nexus 7 tablet has lots of different settings. We will of course look at these settings in a lot more detail in future videos, but as a starting point, your settings are just like any other application. It can be found in the applications drawer. To go into settings, simply tap on the icon. You may want to put this on your home screen, so try doing that as a bit of homework. And finally, tablets are designed to be kept on all the time. You do not turn them off. Instead, you lock them or put them to sleep. On the Nexus 7, you do this by pressing the power button on the side of a tablet. This will turn the screen off and lock the tablet, just like a mobile phone. To unlock the tablet again, simply press the power button. Now, when you unlock the tablet, you can change the security settings to protect your tablet as well. In this example, I have to draw a pattern lock to unlock the device. We'll look at how to do that in a future video. Five minutes, five points, practice what you have learned. Thanks for watching this video. Check out part three to carry on where this video has finished. And if you think you know someone who might find this useful, please share it with them. See you again soon. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you're hungry for more videos, subscribe. It's free after all.